All right, what's going on, everyone? Welcome back to another video. It's been a minute since I've been talking in my videos, so I thought I would just kind of talk again. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to have multiple Roblox games up on your PC or, like, device, whatever. So, yeah, let's get straight into the video. All right, so first, what we're going to want to do is go down in the description and open up the link that I have. It'll be it'll be a GitHub link for uh, Blockstrap, is what it's called. And make sure it's the 2.5. 2.5.4 version or else it won't work because the newer version doesn't have the multiple instance launcher stuff so yeah just go ahead and click the dot uh, exe right here and it'll uh, be up like it'll download whatever so you can just exit out of that uh you're gonna be in the int integrations menu right here if you see right here, it says allow multiple instancing, instance launching. Uh, you can just click that on. And make sure you're not in any games. Or else you'll have to like restart or whatever. So just click save. But I already, have the, I already did this. But then you can also do other stuff too. You can use the old death sound. Which is the oof sound. And you can do that click it and so then it auto also updates automatically whenever roblox has a a um an update and then you can change the mouse cursor as well so you can do the the 2006 one or the two, 2013 one and then the default one which is the current one um you can emulate old character sounds um use old avatar editor background but that's if you're using the app. And then you can um, disable desktop app from showing. Which actually I'm going to click that on. And then you can change like the um, emojis or whatever. Which I'm just going to leave to default. And you can change the font stuff which I, I didn't really worry about that. But if you go down to fast, fit, fast flags. Um... You can change your frame rate limit, which you can just um, set to either zero for default, or you can change it to a like big number, like this, and then it'll just be like um, no limit. Uh, then you can change the lighting too, so you can either do voxel, shadow map, or future, which is just like, uh, kind of like shaders in a way. And then you can do um, Preferred Escape Mini version, which is what I'm doing, the 2015 one, which is this one. If you found this helpful, make sure to leave a like, maybe subscribe if you want to see more stuff. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.